All right, now the moment you've all been waiting for in the chat, especially you, Andy. I don't know if you're still here. It's took a long round this long, but we're about to give you our picks for the Cup Series Race of Horizon 200. Before we do that, I just want to make note that this Sunday, right here, live on YouTube, watch party, baby. You guys voted on it, and this is the most stacked field in NASCAR history. I'm going to go. I'm not even going on a limb saying that. I think I truly believe it. This is the most stacked field we've ever seen in a NASCAR Cup Series race in the 75 year history. And now it's time to take our picks, right? Um, I think I think the winning pick here, I think it's pretty easy. I, I really do. I'm taking Tyler Reddick. This dude is the most underrated road course driver in in modern NASCAR. He I think he is better than Elliott when he was at his prime at road courses. I believe that he is going to win this race pretty handily. Toyota has turned it up as of late. And I think that if things would have went his way in Chicago Street Course, he would have won that race as well. He won this race last year. He won Road America last year. He won Coda earlier this year. This guy is the road course guy in the Cup Series. And he's got the experience on this track. His car's going to be unstoppable. He's going he's gonna to get it done. And then for Dark Horse, I wanted to say McDowell. I'm, I'm actually changing my mind. I'm actually changing my mind right here on, on YouTube. Um, I think it's going to be Kamui Kobayashi. He's also in a 2311 Toyota. This dude is coming off of a win at the 12, at the six hour Monza with the Toyota Gazoo team and the hypercar. I believe this guy is just, I think he's overlooked. I think everybody's looking at him as another gun, one of these road course ringer guys that's going to come in and not do good. I think this weekend, Kobayashi competes with his teammate Reddick, and I believe he is going to be there at the end. Unfortunately, he just doesn't have the experience or the, I believe, the talent level in this car that Reddick does, and he's going to end up finishing P2 to him. But look out for Kobayashi. Look out for Kobayashi. I'm serious. I'm telling you now, right here on YouTube. Uh, Tom, who do you got? Uh, I'm going to fanboy here. <laughs> oh, don't do it. I am. Okay, you I can am. do it. I don't care what nobody thinks. SVG! <laughs> Baby! <laughs> yep. Yep, that's my favorite. You know what? Look, people have raced here before. Uh, they have some experience here. I just do not think that these drivers in the Cup Series have the talent level that SVG does on road courses on with these heavy cars. I just don't think they do. I don't. I don't. Not not a a regular series uh, Cup Series driver. I, I don't. I don't think so. I think Dre, you bring up a great point uh, with Tyler Reddick. Yeah, he's fantastic. Don't get me wrong. He's great. But is he? comparable to svg i think so i really do i, I think reddick is the best I don't know. cup series I don't, regular I, look, road course driver on this on the circuit right now I, 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 all i'm saying is he's got the team behind him he's got the talent he's got the skills i think he goes in his second cup series start and wins his second race that's all i'm saying unheard of that's crazy. I, I mean, I hope I hope he does it for everybody's sake. Yeah. I really do. I just don't see it. And then uh, just so uh, for my dark horse, for the sake of who I chose to point their way in, in this points, intense points battle uh, for the playoffs, I'm going McDowell because he is a he is a fantastic road course driver. Uh, it's almost you see McDowell top 10 every time we go to road course. It's not going to be any different. Not going to be any different. No, um, Rick Dowell is a solid pick. I think he's done well here the last couple of years, too. And it's road course ringer. I mean, not that there's ringers anymore, but McDowell, any road course, you can count on him. I have to go with Tyler Reddick, the winner of the race last year. He's the best road course racer in NASCAR. Um, I'd be dumb not to go for him. Uh, he lights out above everybody else, I think. And you heard Denny at Chicago, and he outqualified him. He learned from Tyler. Tyler's teaching Bubba. I think Tyler Reddick's the best and drivers are learning from him. I think he's helping all the other Toyota drivers catch up to him and stuff like that. Um, Dark Horse. Oh, there's a lot of people to pick from. Um, just a lot of people are having so good with the road courses this year. I'm going to go with Ty Gibbs. Ty Gibbs needs to have a good finish. He's right there on the cut line. JGR's throwing out some good equipment. Ty Gibbs had some stellar runs this year. I'm going to go with Ty Gibbs as my Dark Horse.